Yeah. bumblebee and a male appear to be mating. Pretty amazing. I'll try and identify these, although the last time I tried to identify a bumblebee, uh, some experts really chewed me out. So we'll see. I'm not quite sure. Well, last night I was on the lion line and somebody asked me, hey, what's going on at the farm? So I thought I'd give you guys an update. So here we are at the upper, upper patio here, looking down on the farm. Kind of give you an idea what's going on. And, uh, well here, let's just go on down the stairs. Over there, Kathy's got lots of herbs and basil and small tomatoes growing and some more tomatoes. And over here we have the espalier pear trees and a bunch of uh, Midwestern varieties of strawberries we're trying to grow. Since uh, all the other strawberries were pretty much done already, we had uh, a wet April, so they were slow to start. And then they came on in a rush because we had all that heat in May and June. Now July and well, all the strawberries are pretty much gone except for these Midwestern varieties. So we'll see how they do and if they do good, maybe we'll plant some more. Well, here's all the stuff we're selling right now. Onions and garlic, potatoes and peppers and basil and squash and carrots and cucumbers and beets and tomatoes. And here's the new sign that my son-in-law stand that my son-in-law made for me, Jordan. And I guess we're selling eggs and zucchini and some herbs and Here's all the stuff in the coolers and under the, the umbrellas. And my wife planted lots and lots of flowers this year and they're doing great. And lots and lots of sunflowers and they're doing good. Got some squash. And up there on the terraces, we've got a whole bunch of potatoes that are ready to dig. And I'll get around to that eventually, I suppose. Kathy's Garden of the Spheres is still looking as beautiful as ever. And if you look back there, you can see that we got uh, sunflowers going. Summer squash is looking good. And uh, all the raised beds are performing really well. And here's a new raised bed that I built Kathy, just because I love her so much. And then you can see our green beans are doing great. We're digging up all the potatoes now and uh, the garlic and a lot of the onions are coming up and the pumpkins look great. And yeah, I haven't put new plastic on the greenhouse yet. Sorry about that. And you can see things are, things are going pretty good. And yeah, and there over there, those are, those are the sheep. Can I tell you? Hey guys. And the apple trees are loaded and looking good. Can't complain too much. We'll see if they make us any money this year. So chickens are doing good. No complaints. Pullets are doing pretty good. Wish they were laying a few more eggs because I could sure sell them. But considering how many chickens we have, they're doing pretty good. And I guess some good fortune came my way yesterday. Hay truck overturned and left us a whole bunch of busted bales. Just, just right no more, right almost in my backyard. So that was good. Now I got more hay than I'll probably use this year. And that'll make my sheep happy. So there's your kind of what's going on. Things are going pretty good here at Ryan Creek. Be nice if we get a little rain though, of course. Always a blessing when water falls from the sky. All right, this is the view from the top of Palina Peak. And yes, you can drive up to the top of this puppy, but we hiked it. And uh, I guess that's rewarding. 